Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this, we are going to see how to manage lists and how to manage links in HTML. If you see here, I have used two tags, ul and uh, slash ul. This is called unnumbered list. Within this, I have used tags like li slash li. Within ul, this li repeats itself. I have used USA, India, China, UK. This appears within this UL list. So this will act as a list but this will come with a bullet point. Let us see how it appears. If you see here it comes with a bullet point. So each LI item, line item will appear as a bullet point. So this is the basic way of putting bullets into a HTML page. The same thing instead of UL, if I use OL, okay, if I use OL, this is called outline numbered. Now if I come back, refresh the screen, look at here, it comes as 1, 2, 3, 4 with serial numbers. So either you can use unnumbered list or you can use outline numbered list. So whenever you want to list out points, you don't have to hard code the values like one dot something like that. So this is an effective way of maintaining lists. There is one more thing called the definition list. Let us see that. Let us look at this. This is the definition list. It starts with DL and ends with slash DL. Within the definition list, we have the definition item or the definition topic. I say North America, within that I have used DD. So there is a DL tag. Within that there is a DT tag. You can have multiple DT tags. Within DT tags you can have multiple DD tags. This DD tags are the, the items within the topic. So under North America I have got two items. Under Asia I have got three items. Let us see how this appears on the page. So this is an unnumbered list. This is a numbered list. This is a definition list. So the topic appears here. The DD tags appear within that as an indented item. So you have got Asia. Within that there are three DD items. So you, you have three different ways of maintaining lists in HTML pages. If you look at this uh, HTML page, for the body itself I have given the whole style. So all the text within the body they go through this particular text. Now, if I want a particular item alone to appear in a different color, you can set the style only for that element. Let us do that. Look here. For the whole body, we have set the color as green. Just for this item alone, I have set the color, style, color, colon, blue. So let us go back and then see how it appears. See? All the items appear in green which are taking the style from the body style. Only for this item we have set it as blue so only this alone appears with that particular style. So you can have either a blanket style at the body level, at the paragraph level or you can have the style at the element level. Both are possible in HTML pages. Let us see how we can give a link to a particular test. I have got a text, click here for open mentor. I have used a tag a slash a. Within that I have used an attribute href. href is the reference URL. Now I have, I have given href equal to the open mentors URL over here. Once I display this particular thing, it appears like this. Click here for open mentor. It appears with an underline. The moment I mouse over it, it shows me a hand symbol. When I click on it, when I click on that, it takes me to open mentor. So if you want to link some text, all you need to do is use a href. But what I want is, if I click on this, it has to open in another tab, not on the same thing. So how do I do that? It's very simple. All you need to do is, after this, you have to give another attribute, target equal to underscore blank. So the moment you give the URL as well as target equal to underscore blank, then come back. Now I click here. 
it opens on another tab it doesn't open on the same tab so you see the back button is not here I can go to the other thing it still remains there but if I go to the other tab it appears so it opens a new browser or new tab so you can use a href for linking a particular text to some URL you can also use images for display purposes let us take a look at the IMG tag I have given IMG there's an attribute called SRC SRC stands for the source given logo.jpg ideally if you don't give a path wherever the HTML file is there it will look for the file in that particular path so you can also give the relative path at the top page in the header so now I have given logo.jpg let us see how this page looks now if you see here this is the text now this is the logo that appears over here so it appears in its original size now if I want to change its size I can give a separate height equal to let us say 100 then width equal to say 100 I am trying to display with a different height and width let us see how it looks now see here it was altered with the square so the same image the width and height were changed so you can specify the height and width attributes of a source of an image but you need to be very careful only with the proper height and width the images will display properly and then they will be pleasing to the eyes otherwise this will look like a skewed image so you need to be very careful in getting the dimensions of the images now I want to link it to the image so how do I make how to link on the image let us take a look at it so if you want to give a link to a particular image all you need to do is first have the a tag a href tag give the URL then place the image tag then end the slash a tag so you are embedding this image within a link so once we embed an image within a link using a and IMG tags you come back to this place now the moment I mouse over on this image it shows me the hand symbol when I click on it it opens that particular web page so this is how you can use the image tags as well as the ahref tags there is one more thing on the ahref tags is that right now I have shown you how to give a link to some other URL but within the page if you want to go to a different topic there is a way that you can do that let us look at that let us look, have a look at it if you see I have defined a tag with an attribute called the ID so far we have used an attribute href style etc now I am using an attribute called the ID I am saying within colon within quotes para 1 then this is the text then I have given some paragraph same way I have got para 2 para 3 para 4 like this I have got almost 11 paras now imagine that these are all different topics and you have got different headings at the top I am giving a reference go to para 7 as a text and then giving a href I use the symbol hash hash para 7 the moment you use hash it will look for another a tag with an ID of that same text so it will look for ID equal to para 7 it will take you to that place let us go back to this screen the screen looks like this para 1 para 2 para 3 but para 7 is way below you do not know where it is now if I click on go to para 7 just watch this page what happens I click go to para 7 immediately para 7 appears at the top and then your focus goes to that particular paragraph so in web pages if you see go to the top go to the bottom go to this particular topic click here to go to the topic something like that so this is how they use you have within the page if you want to navigate you have to give the ahref and then hash symbol before that you need to define 
a and then with id attribute so you can navigate to another url through a text link you can navigate through an image link you can navigate within the page by clicking a particular link for that you have to use a href hash symbol and then you need to use a id then the id names so this way you can navigate to different pages or within the same page let us end this session here thank you